What's going on everybody? Welcome to your 33rd Python tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over a little bit of classes and also something called self. Now uh, the first thing we need to do is create a class so let's do it. Again you need the keyword class and you can name your class anything you want. I'm going to name my class name just to show you guys where the name of class goes and again as I told you you can create functions which are called methods inside your class and you create it just like you create a function you have to define it or create it first uh, I'm gonna name my first one create name since I'm just gonna well I'll show you guys what it does later but again the what I wanna stress is every parameter in your methods inside your class has to take the first parameter of self and then it could take any parameters after that this one takes one more called name and you'll see why later and um, just to step in the future a little bit, anytime I write self, it's just a temporary placeholder for the object. So if you have an object name uh, apples, then whenever you call your um, object, it's going to throw apples in here instead of self. So let me go ahead and I'll, I'll say that again at a later date and it'll make sense. So self.name, which will be your object's name, equals name and let's go ahead and create another method um, let's go ahead and display name for one of them and I just want this to output the name of our uh, whatever we give it later so I just want it to return self name again these are really simple methods um, the last one I want to make is just a saying and you can name yours anyone you want I'm just using it I'm just uh, making mine uh, easy so you can see what's going on. And my saying is just going to print out a saying. It's going to be hello, um, some variable. And that variable is, of course, going to be self name because that's what we're learning today. And you can go ahead and check if your class was created correctly by just putting in class name. And you should get a weird uh, message right here. And it says where it's stored in memory. So now we created a class, which is pretty much a blueprint. Now after we create a class, in order to use these methods, we need to create objects to use them. So let's go ahead and create a couple objects. And just to show you guys that you can create many objects from the same blueprint or class, let me just do that. So first, class name with empty parameters. Again, once you create an object, you have to name your object. I name mine first. You can name yours anything you want and then put what class you want to get the object from and put empty parameters and let me create a second one just to show you guys you can have more than one object per class uh, I'm gonna well do the same thing we only have one class so no surprise there so now we have two objects we have first and second so anytime you create an object you can use any of the methods inside that class with the object so if you want to use one of the methods, all you need to do is this. Write the object you want to use first, um, and then write the um, method name. So our first one we had was create name with our parameters of we need self and name. Now self we don't need to put anything for because it refers to the object itself, which is first. But we do need a name since um, Python doesn't know it yet. And I'm going to name mine Bucky. So now, what Python did is said, all right, I'm going to take first dot um, Bucky, and it's going to be equal to Bucky. Now, let's create one for a second, just, sh just so I can show you guys that it can be different. Second dot create name, and our parameters can be something like Tony. So what this is doing is using um, this method right here and plugging in the parameters Bucky for name. So now anytime we want to, let's say, display our name in this function, what it's going to do is say, all right, well, let me just show you guys. So let's go ahead and write first, since we want to use our first object, which we created Bucky, and put period, and then put display name, and then put empty parameters, and go ahead and press enter, and as you can see, it gives us Bucky. And let me show you guys what happened here. The function um, or the method display name just outputted self name, which was Bucky. 
and let me just uh, do saying uh, maybe it's a little easier if I do that one so let's go ahead and use our first object and saying and empty parameters and it says hello Bucky so you guys can see clearly what this one does for self it used Bucky sent or excuse me it used first what it did was print hello and then this variable self name and it knows for self what one you're using because of this whatever self is before the period is whatever your object is before the period and whatever the name is is this what we made up here when we created our name so again self in all of these methods self 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 that pretty much is or not pretty much is a temporary placeholder for the object itself so once you create an object named first this self gets switched to first 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 and so when he says print hello um, self name it says alright do I print second name no print first name which was in this case Bucky and that and we did that using this right here so again first takes the place of self and it just does this so you can create many or multiple objects from the same class so again um, to recap one more time we created kind of a blueprint using uh, methods and we put self because we didn't know what the object was going to be named yet so we just named it self now after we name self we can fill it in by creating an object once we created an object it takes self and replaces it with the object name so if you put self name let's go ahead and see self name equals name if we put first name it would be Bucky because the object and name of first is Bucky and I know this is kind of confusing now but um, to the summary of this tutorial pretty much is self is a placeholder for the object and that's all you got to remember in this tutorial I'm sure I'm uh, sorry for uh, making you guys suffer through all that but in this tutorial all you have to remember is self is a temporary placeholder for the object name so hopefully you guys learn a little something on the way about how to create methods or something like that but I will promise I'll be clearing this up for you in the next couple tutorials so again I uh, apologize for the confusion but I will make this clear in the next couple tutorials so thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time